Hello guys, today we are going to discuss one of the important feature of Oracle 12C that is row limiting clause. Row, row limiting clause basically used to get the top n rows. So prior to Oracle 12C, to get the top n rows, we, are, we have used the row norm clause. Okay, and uh, but in the 12C, there is some new clauses has been introduced. We will learn one by one and uh, we can say it is one type of the replacement of the row num clause so we are no need to use the row num okay because in when you use a row num that time basically we have to include it in in a sub query then in the uh, like uh, inline view again we need to fetch that row num and uh, use the condition all those things you don't need to do uh, from the 12c it is very easy to get the top end rows let's have a look like there are six clauses has been introduced in the oracle 12c like how to get the first uh, n rows how to get the like some percentage of rows and how to get uh, like uh, get the first rows with a ties we'll see what is uh, what is the use of this and then offset n rows offset means we'll skip number of rows then fetch next 10 rows we'll get the uh, after the offset if you want to get the next 10 rows with the tie then we'll use the first n rows uh, then next is fetch next n rows only here we'll get the next n number of rows okay we'll see one by one but uh, let's have a look first is fetch first n rows that means if we want to get first five rows from a table then what we'll do we'll just simply write suppose 10 rows you want to get select star from emp fetch first 10 rows only if we write this you see it brings 10 rows okay in the employee table we have 14 rows isn't it in the employee table we have 14 rows let me pin this and uh, for uh, you see if you want to get the 10 rows only it should bring the data up to this turner employee name up to this so if i run this you see from smith to turner okay so it brings first 10 rows from the employee table. next is how to get the percentage rows suppose i want to get 50 percentage of rows from the employee table then what i'll write i'll write here 50 then you see the 50 means if i see it it should bring up to 7 that is clear okay so let's run this query you see it bring up to clear from smith to clear 7 row so 50 percent another thing i want to tell you suppose i wanted to uh, get uh, 40 percent 40 percent means that means uh, we have 14 rows okay so if i get the 40 percentage from the 14 rows it is bringing around six records okay so like uh, you see it uses uh, the seal function seal concept means uh, suppose your 40 percentage uh, suppose you are given some percentage of rows you want and uh, the value will be something like 5.2 okay 5.2 in the sense 40 percentage from the 14 record will be suppose 5 records and it gives a fractional value suppose 5.3 or 5.4 something like that then what it will do it will bring 6 records not 5 records okay because we will understand like so 5.4 means it might bring 5 record or 6 record but it brings 6 records always it uh, uses the ceiling function okay ceiling concept so that is the thing I want to tell you in this percentage and the next is first n rows with ties it is a very interesting here ties if we use what it will do suppose I want to get four rows so in in the last row means in the fourth position whatever value will come if that value is exist in the table suppose we got a salary 4000 and same 4000 is again there in the table so it will displace two times because it will bring the ties record also those record who is tie means which is similar and it will always look after the last record suppose we have given first four rows that means 
it will fetch the first four rows and it will check the last number that is fourth rows and it will check the value of the fourth rows and if the value is exist again in that table for multiple times then it will bring that number of times let me uh, run this query select cell from emp order by cell okay so you see if i want to bring first four rows that means it should bring 820 1150 but it will bring up to fifth record because 1250 again exist okay so let me do this you see first four but it brings another record because we have mentioned here ties that is the reason why it is bringing another one more record i have given four but it is giving me five okay next we will see offset n rows offset means that means we want to skip uh, some records suppose you want to skip first three rows you see in the employee table the first three means smith alien and word it will not come it should bring from the zone up to last so let's check if I run this query, you see from the Jones to Miller up to last to bring first three record that is Smith, Alien, and Ward. This detail it doesn't bring. Okay. So next is fetch a next n rows with ties. That means we want to get the uh, records first. We want to offset three rows. That means we don't want to bring first three rows. And after that, I want to bring the next five rows with ties that means i want to bring the next five rows and along with the last rows whether the last row is similar to some other rows the ties uh, record it will bring the, those records which are tied with the last record okay let's see you see it bring only five records it it removes first three first three means smith alien and what it did not bring after that it bring from jones to one two three four five scott so it, it does Jones to Scott and as I said with ties here there is no record which is tied so it brings only five records okay next is skipping the first n values and fetch next 10 rows that means I want to skip first three rows and then I want to bring only the next five rows it is quite similar to the previous example here the difference is that we have used ties here but here we have not used ties Ties is only used when you think that there is some might be some record which is exist which is similar to the last value. Okay, so uh, let me run this query. It will bring the same value. You see, from Jones to Scott. Okay, there is no difference in terms of output. So next we'll see if the offset value is greater than the number of records. That means suppose I want to offset three rows. Okay, and the record is three uh, like three. You have three records in the table and I want to offset also three then what will happen you see in the employee table we have 14 rows okay so what I written here offset 14 rows that means I want to skip first 14 rows then I want to bring the next two rows okay what you see the output will be nothing no record will come because we have 14 rows in the employee table and if we offset it, that means if we skip this 14 rows, first 14 rows, and you want to get the next two rows, then there is no rows to be retrieved from the employee table. That's why it is not showing any value. But you see, this 14 rows, which I have written here, I can also write like select count of star from EMP. There is another way. So if I run the second one also, no data will come because it is also select count of star from EMP it is bringing only 14 rows so again I am offsetting 14 rows so it is not bringing it will not bring any record so I hope you will understood this concept uh, row limiting clause in Oracle 12c and uh, please comment below if you have any doubts and uh, subscribe my channel and please hit the bell icon in order to get the latest videos thanks to all of you